What's going on guys and welcome back to another video. So today we're going to be talking about the Lux Sports Football. You guys know that I love the Lux Sports Grip Socks. It's been one of my most viewed videos on YouTube. You guys have loved it and you guys have shown a lot of love to Lux. So they produced this new football, they sent it out to me and I'm going to be talking to you guys about it today to give you my thoughts and opinions on it. So if you guys wanna see it, let's go ahead and hop into it. All right, so we're going to go ahead and hop into the packaging real quick. I just have to say Lux absolutely killed the design on the packaging like they always do. I think it looks super sleek and really expensive and super high quality. And I just think that they always kill the packaging, whether it's for their grip socks or now the new ball. I think it looks super good and super clean. A nice feature that they include with the ball is a really nice ball pump with their logo on it. And it also comes with a needle. So that way you can pump your ball up as soon as you get it. With most footballs that you get, you don't get a ball pump with it. So sometimes you'll get a ball, comes in flat, and then you can't use it until you go out and buy yourself a pump. So it's really nice that Lux include a free ball pump along with the football. Now I'm going to list off some of the features that Lux say that the ball has. It has a quad panel thermal bonding. It includes a free premium ball pump, which I already talked about. It has the FIFA ball regulations compliant approval. It has a golf ball style surface grip texture, and it has air mattress foam technology. And those are the features that Lux lists about the ball. So I've had this ball now for about a month. I wanted to really take my time in testing it out to see what I really think about it. And so far I've really been a big fan of it. I don't think it feels anything too fancy. Like let's say something like a Brilliant Super from Select. That's like a $160 match ball, somewhere around that price point. But I think that the overall style is very similar to something like that when it comes to the texturing on the top that kind of has like that golf ball style dimpling across the pattern of it. It has the standard traditional panel design, nothing too fancy like the way Nike or Adidas does it on their footballs. And I really like how simple it is because I feel that gives you overall more consistency when you're playing with it. You just know what it's gonna do whenever you go to strike it, pass it, whatever you're gonna do with it. And I really like the design. Overall, I like the feel of it. I feel like it might have a little bit too much bounce to it compared to some of the other footballs that I play with. But overall, it's not a deal breaker to me. And anytime I strike it or anything, it really does seem to go exactly the way I hit it, which I like. It doesn't do any type of crazy movement or anything like that on you, which is nice. So overall, I think it's a really good ball for the price point. I feel like it's very similar to stuff that you can get from Adidas and Nike for around the same price. But I do think that the overall quality and everything is better, especially compared to the other Nike and Adidas ones that I have tried out around the same price point. I feel like the durability and everything is way better than those. And so far I've really been enjoying it. One complaint I have is the overall color. I like the scheme of it, but I feel like the black and white should be alternated because the black base is a little bit too hard to see whenever it's in the grass. The black and the green just blend in a little bit too much and there's not enough white to kind of separate it in my opinion. I feel like whenever it's rolling, I kind of have a hard time seeing it from a distance. So I feel like if they were to have switched out the black and white coloring on the scheme of it, it would look a lot better if it had the white base with the white details being in black. It's not a deal breaker for me, but I definitely feel like it would be a whole lot easier to see the football if it was with a white base. But that's just a little critique that I have. And like I said, it's not a deal breaker for me. But there you have it. That is the brand new Lux football. If you guys want to check it out, I'll have a link for it down in the description if you guys want to check it out for yourself. But that's going to go ahead and wrap it up for this video. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure you leave a thumbs up and I'll catch you guys in the next video.